Symbiosis. With so many organisms living on Earth, living things are bound to interact with one another. Symbiosis is a close relationship between two species. One type of interaction is called mutualism. An example of mutualism exists between honeybees and flowers. Flowers provide nectar to the bees. The bees use the sugar-rich liquid to make honey. But as the bee flies from flower to flower, tiny grains of pollen get stuck to the bee. The bee moves the pollen without even knowing it, and pollen is necessary for flowers to reproduce. In this relationship, both species benefit. The bees get nectar and the flowers get pollinated. Another relationship is called commensalism. This interaction takes place when the sharks and remore live together. Remore use sucking discs on their heads to attach themselves to sharks. The sharks are powerful swimmers and do not even notice that the remore are there. However, the remore benefit from this relationship. The fish get a free ride and they also get protection. Also, the remore feed on scraps that are left over by the shark. In commensalism, one species benefits and the other is neither helped nor harmed. The last symbiotic relationship is called parasitism. An example of this relationship exists between humans and mosquitoes. The insects land on and take blood from humans. The mosquito benefits as it uses the blood for energy. The human or host is harmed in this relationship as blood is needed and the human could become infected with disease. In parasitism, one species benefits and the other is harmed. Mutualism, a relationship where both species benefit. Commensalism, one species benefits and the other is neither helped nor harmed. Parasitism. One species benefits and the other is harmed. Symbiosis.